it's not gonna work. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I got a good one for you, but I gotta start right out with a story because this is what's gonna tie this whole entire video together. Now, so every year, I decide to always trim my trees. And what I have been using up until last year was uh, an 18 volt DeWalt Sawzall because I do have a chainsaw and I decided that instead of pulling a chainsaw, getting my chaps on, you know, getting oily, getting gassy, I could just put an 18 volt battery in a Sawzall and commence to cutting my tree limbs that would normally be overhanging, dead, whatever. Well, last year I only cut a certain amount and huh, the bad thing is about that is uh, I was pulling out with my camper and I caught the edge of my tree limb. I did cut it, but I didn't cut it all the way. So it caught the top of my camper, ripped the roof completely, basically up, and I had to fix it and that was pretty costly. Had I had to get it replaced at Gander Mountain or Gander Outdoors, whatever you want to call it, they told me it would be somewhere in the eight thousand dollar range i said what ain't nobody got time for that well i wasn't having that uh i searched youtube and found a few other little small videos that would help me long story short i fixed the camper and i went out and i cut the rest of the limbs off having said that the batteries didn't last very long and i thought i just need to get me a chainsaw so i was going to get a chainsaw and a pull decided not to do that and waited well this year i was out doing a little bushcrafting and i thought man if i had a little chainsaw with me uh it'd be perfect so what i decided to do is search and i believe i found what could be now i haven't used it yet that's what this video is about i'm going to be i've already unboxed it but i want to show you guys what i think of it i'm going to bring it out here in just a few minutes show you guys uh it in action i still have to put the bar oil in it but if you guys want to check out the video of me ripping my camper open, if you're interested in camping and how to fix a roof, check it right here because I did fix my roof, uh, screwed the whole inside of my camper up. It was a whole fiasco. But anyway, uh, if you want to check it out, there it is. And uh, But let's get to uh, doing this video for this saw because I'm pretty interested in seeing just how good it is. But my first impressions of it was this. Um, when I pulled it out of the box, it was nothing spectacular. I got the battery charger. The battery and the saw and i decided to get that even though i already had the bandsaw with the battery i thought you know what i only have two batteries and what if i needed three so i went ahead and got the one with the battery on it and uh that way i have three decent batteries at all times so hopefully when i bring it out here i'm going to start cutting some of this wood because there's i don't know if you can see or not but especially right here behind me there's a bunch of wood we're going to cut supposedly it'll cut up to a three inch log not sure what i'm going to cut and how big but there's some stuff out here that i can basically just start ripping up so stick around guys and uh we will show you exactly how this thing works i will tell you my thoughts on it here in just a second so let me go down here and get it it's in my truck and uh we'll start highly impressed to me this is gonna be like a prototype and they're probably going to really really make this more advanced as the years go on uh, I haven't used it yet obviously and it does seem like it's gonna be okay it's just not like this plastic I don't, I'm not a big fan of the plastic even though I know that we need they need to make a lightweight and it has the battery life bars on it like most of the fuel stuff does it does have a little i think it's called a scabbard and it just has a little little blade here it does have your wrench right here if you need it for you know tightening up anything and then this is where you put your oil at now i opted to get this one over the steel or any other one the, the cobalt i did like the automatic oiler on this it seemed like it might be really really worth it all right, so having said that, let's go ahead and put some oil in this thing, and let's commence to cutting, because this is why you came here. You came here to see this saw in action, and quite frankly, so did I. So let's go ahead and put some oil in it. All 
All right, with anything battery operated stuff, it does have a, a life limit on your battery. Now, I don't know it right off the top of my head, so I'll leave all the specs and everything to this saw down below. So this is my own money that bought this saw. I'm only doing this, guys, to see if this thing is really, truly worth it or not. Plus, I want the damn thing, so um, I hope it is. Even if it cuts just a little bit, enough for one good fire during camping, I think I'm going to get my money's worth. So hopefully this thing does good. Uh, there's a, a limb here I just showed you, and there's a bigger one right over there. And we're going to cut all that up and see just how good it is. And All right, so far so good. Let's move on to a bigger piece right over here. All right, now this is a pretty good size piece here, so let's see what it'll do on this one. I'm very curious, obviously, to see. Hopefully it does what it's supposed to. Very nice. You can see that's pretty good size. Let's go ahead and cut another log here. Very, very, very nice. Very impressed. Now it looks like we got a, even a bigger one right here. Now I know this is probably right at the three inch mark, probably. So uh, I say we try to cut it. Obviously we don't want to get where it's gonna fall on us, so we'll stand, probably cut right here in the bottom here and let it fall. But yeah, let's go ahead and try this one and see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the saw for a second. So, obviously you saw it did, <laughs> see what I did there? Obviously you saw me cut some trees down. One was a little bit bigger than normal. Now, this saw is not, you know, supposed to cut huge trees. This is just a basic, what they call a hatchet. Uh, and you know, if you had a real hatchet, it wouldn't be cutting trees down. I mean, obviously you can. It's basically just to cut little limbs. And I think it's gonna do okay. It did stop uh, a couple times you saw. I don't know if you did or not, but uh, the actual battery, I guess, just halted. Not sure, it's pretty cold air today. Uh, it's right at about 31. It's supposed to snow, but you see how that goes. And uh, anyway, so it did pretty good. I, I think I'm gonna be okay with it, especially around the house and just cutting, you know, like limbs out here just to have like a bushcraft day. Anyway, I think it's a good thing. I'm going to obviously use it for a little while. Uh, now, I still have to do the re final review on the Milwaukee Portaban. Uh, I'm still using it, and I'm still liking it. I'm going to finish the review on that probably within the next month or two. I've got one more little job to do with it, and then I'm going to go ahead and do it. So if you guys are interested in a Portaban, a Milwaukee Portaban, right up here in this corner, I have a video, uh, the first initial use of it. It was actually in the summertime cutting rigid pipe. I really think it's a super great saw. Or do I? So having said that, guys, I uh, just want to say that, you know, I do want you to stop back by. Uh, this thing right here, so far to me, seems to be an all right saw. Uh, you know, I can see there's oil on the chain, which is good, because I was kind of worried about the automatic oiler. Hope it doesn't keep oiling as, you know, like my old chainsaws usually do. I don't know if y'all's guys do or not, but mine definitely does. I like those chainsaws because I actually have a box for it. So somewhere along the line, I'm going to have to find a box for this thing. And I think it's going to be excellent, guys, for you guys that are deer hunters. They come out way before season, like me. Get your tree stands cleared. You can take it out here. Um, cut your limbs, cut your shooting lanes. I mean, it's way better bringing that and three extra batteries or four extra batteries or, or hell, this one coming out here rather than lugging your chainsaw, all your oil, gas, you know, you know, the whole nine yards. It's a lot easier carrying that than a big old chainsaw. All right, guys, if this video has brought value to you, please give me a thumbs up. Also, make sure you go down in the description. I have plenty of discount codes for a lot of different things that you guys may be interested in. I have an Amazon store, Patreon, Venmo, all that is down there. PayPal, all that is down there. If you want to send me anything, feel free to. My address is down there also. Also, make sure you check out my Facebook page, guys. It's also down in the 
description. Uh, just ask to join. There's a few questions you got to answer. Answer them, and I'll put you right on in there. One more thing, guys, uh, real quick. Uh, if you had the chance to ever give the gift of life, make sure that you can give blood. Uh, I'm a firm believer now in giving my blood. Uh, it's helped my wife. I never knew the importance of giving blood until my wife actually needed it. And I would thank God every day that somebody decided to sit there and get their blood. What a, what an amazing gift of life, guys. All right, guys, if you like what you see here, like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.